I wanna talk with you about a highly profitable side hustle that nobody else is talking about that requires no money, no skills, and you can do it all from the comfort of your home. And this side hustle is called Google to Purchase. And there are people making as much as $760,000 per year in passive income with this side hustle. This website here, Making Sense of Sense, only gets about 81,000 visits to her website every month. And this is not a lot of traffic. And she's still able to make three quarters of a million dollars per year. And all all of this started from this one side hustle that I'm gonna teach you in this video. So, what exactly is Google to purchase? There are over 99,000 searches happening on Google every single second, and of those 99,000 searches, at least half of them are related to a product purchase. This could be things like best chairs for gaming or best water bottles for hiking. These are just a couple of examples, but as you can see, even something as specific as best boots for hiking still gets about 27 thousand searches per month. Best shares for gaming. This gets about 40,000 searches per month. And all of these searches represent potential. Potential to make a lot of money. I want you to think about every single time that you've gone to Google to search for a specific product. For example, just last week I was looking to buy a new external hard drive and so I went to Google and I simply typed in best external hard drives. I then clicked on this Tom's Guide website. I looked through all the different hard drives and I ended up clicking on the Amazon link for this hard drive here, which then led me to the product on Amazon, which I then purchased. Now, here's something that nobody else thinks about except for the few people who are creating these product review articles. Because I clicked on the Amazon link from the Tom's Guide website and then made a purchase, Tom's Guide will get a commission from the sale. They get paid for this. And this right here is Google to purchase. And websites like this are what I like to call Google to purchase middlemen. They create these listicle style product reviews use certain tactics to rank their articles on Google, which I'll teach you how to do in a little bit, and they make hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars per month doing it. This is literally the same strategy that websites like NerdWallet use to make over $538 million per year. And the best part is that this side hustle is extremely scalable, has virtually no cost, and can literally be done from the comfort of your bed. Or if you wanted to go and sit on the beach and do this, then I guess you could do that too. But I believe that this is an an incredible business model that most people don't even know exists and more people should be taking advantage of it. So the first thing that we need to do to get started is decide on a niche. For example, you could create listicle product reviews about different outdoorsy type of products like what you see on this website here. Or you could focus on different tech and gadgets. Or maybe just go as broad as possible like how the wire cutter does and talk about everything from home and garden to style, right? There really is no wrong way to go about this. However, at the very beginning, it may just be best to focus on one specific product category so that you can really dominate within that niche. For example, this site, Switchback Travel, only publishes listicle product reviews about outdoor products. Now, obviously, there's still a very broad range of products that they can talk about. You can see here that they have articles ranging from the best ski pants all the way to the best camping coolers, right? But all of this stuff has to do with outdoors. I mean, if we were to search, for example, uh, best water bottles for hiking, you can see that this website Switchback Travel is one of the first results. And this website is getting close to 7.5 million visits per month. And I can guarantee you with that type of traffic, they are absolutely making well over six figures per month being a Google to purchase middleman for outdoor products. Now, this is just one example, right? Like I'm not saying that you have to go and create articles within that specific niche. I mean, you certainly can if you want, but what we're actually gonna do is head over to ChatGPT and have the AI give us ideas for different niches we can start creating these listicle product reviews in. And so what I'll do is just ask the AI to give me ideas for product review websites. And as you can see, the AI will start writing out a response. And so we have this massive list of 20 different ideas to choose from. And would you look at that outdoor gear website? This is exactly what Switchback Travel does, outdoor gear reviews. And so for this video, I'm just gonna say that we go with kitchen appliances. And honestly, I still feel like that's very, very nice niche, okay? And so I'm actually going to expand that niche a little bit. And instead of just doing kitchen appliances, we'll do home and kitchen products. Now, after you've selected your niche, it's time to actually create your website. And don't worry, okay? We're going to get your website looking like this or this or even this in just a matter of minutes without having to touch a single line of code. The only thing that you need to get started is website hosting. And the best place to
to host your website at a super affordable price is Hostinger. Now, I already know what you're thinking, but Joshua, you said that this side hustle could be done with no money. Liar. Listen, this website hosting will cost you less than a cup of coffee every single month. With Hostinger, you can get premium hosting for just $3 per month. Plus, you'll get three free months for free when you click my link down below. And if you use my code Joshua Mayo at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% off. So there really is no excuse. This $3 per month is the only thing that you'll have to pay for with this entire side hustle. So the first thing you'll do is click on the link down below in the description or the pinned comment of this video. And that link will take you directly to Hostinger. Once on this page, simply click on claim deal. And what you're gonna do is add this premium hosting to your cart. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Joshua, the plan next to it is just $2 per month compared to the middle plan, which is $3 per month. But with this plan, you don't get a free domain name, which you'll absolutely need for your website. And the domain name is the www.website.com. Like whatever comes before the .com is the domain name. And so with this middle plan, which is literally just $1 per month more expensive, you'll get a free domain name plus a ton of other features such as weekly backups, uh, security features, a free email, and a lot of other things. And so you'll select add to cart and then choose the period, okay? And this basically allows you to save money by paying in advance. And so for example, if you select one of these longer plan periods, you'll get the best price per month and end up saving hundreds of dollars. Now, if you're on the fence about this and you just wanna give it a try, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. And so you literally can't go wrong, there's zero risk. Anyways, after you've selected your plan uh, into your email payments, and don't forget to use my code Joshua Mayo in this box here before you check out so that you can get that additional 10% discount on top of the existing 75% discount for using my link down below. And then once you sign up and you're logged in, the first thing you'll do is click right here where it says claim domain. And this right here is where you'll come up with the name for your website. And if the domain name isn't available, just keep trying until you find one. After you've gotten your free domain, you'll click here to set up your premium hosting. And then just go through all these prompts. And when you get to this page here, asking you to create or migrate a site, just click on create a site and then select WordPress. You'll then create your login credentials for your website. And we'll skip this screen here. And we'll also skip this screen because we won't need these things. And then for the name of your website, we'll just click on our domain name and then just press finish setup. And then Hostinger will begin working its magic to set up your website. Now, once you land on this page here, uh, it means that your site has been created and you're simply just gonna click right here on edit website. And when you do this, it's gonna bring you to the back end of your website. And once you're in, head over to appearance, themes, and then click on add new. And if we type in the word news into this search bar here, what you'll see are a ton of free news website themes that we can download to get our website to look like one of these themes here. And you can see that most of these website themes match the look and feel of other popular product review websites such as CNET or Wirecutter. And so we'll just kind of look through all the different themes here to find the one that we like the best. And for me personally, I really just like the way that this news board theme looks. And so I'll simply click on install. And after a few seconds, when the theme installs, I'll click on activate. And then after installing this theme, uh, this notice will appear up here at the top saying that this theme recommends the following plugins. And the one that we really care about the most here is this one click demo import. What this plugin will do is get our website from looking like this to looking like an actual finished website. And so once that plugin is activated, we'll hover over appearance and then click on import demo data. Now, depending on the theme, sometimes they'll have like just one button that says install demo data. And when you click it, it does all the work for you. And now when I go to the website, you'll see that it actually looks like something. Now there is one thing about this website that I don't like and that I wanna remove, which is this scrolling bar right here at the top. And so what I'll do is just click on customize up here at the very top. And then what you'll notice is all of these little pencil icons all over the screen. And so if I click on the pencil for the breaking news section, you'll see that I have the option to turn it off. And we can also turn off this little advertisement placeholder at the top by going to theme options, header options, and turning it off. And for just three minutes worth of work, we've got this, a fully functional website that also works perfectly on mobile devices. And the only thing that we have to do at this point is just come up with content ideas, uh, get that content to rank on Google search, and then learn how to actually write the articles. So how exactly can we come up with content ideas? Well, let's just use our niche home and kitchen as an example. What I'm gonna do is head back to ChatGPT and simply ask it to give me ideas 
for home and kitchen product reviews. And it'll start writing out ideas for us, and this is a good starting point. And you can always hit this regenerate response button and the AI will type out a new response for you, which will almost always contain different ideas. Now, here's the thing, okay? You're not just taking these ideas, like let's just say for example, coffee maker, and making a listicle article about the best coffee makers. I mean, don't get me wrong, you certainly can do this, but there's probably gonna be a lot of competition for that specific search. You can see, for example, like if we just search best coffee maker, um, websites like Consumer Reports, the New York Times are all ranking at the top of this search. And because these websites are so popular and have been around for so long, Google considers them as an authority. And when it comes to Google search, the more authority you have, the higher you'll rank for certain searches. And so the trick when you're first starting out is to try and rank for different searches that don't have as much competition. And you can do this by getting more specific about the products. For example, instead of making an article about best coffee makers, you could instead make an article about the best coffee makers under $100. And as you can see from the search results, the websites ranking for this specific search are much smaller websites. Sure, Consumer Reports made an article about this and so they're ranking first, but this significantly smaller website, Drinkstack, is outranking the New York Times. You see, the bigger websites like the New York Times are only interested in writing articles about products that get a lot of searches. And so they're not gonna waste their time writing articles around less popular searches because it wouldn't really benefit them given their size. You can see, for example, a search like best coffee makers gets about 74,000 searches per month, whereas a more specific search like best coffee makers under $100 only gets about 1,300 searches per month. But for us, this is perfect because this is how we can sneak into the back door and start stealing traffic from some of these much larger websites. Now, 1,300 searches per month may not sound like a lot of searches, and to be honest, like by itself, it's not. But when you consider the fact that you'll be writing 10, 20, 30, 40 plus articles, and if all of those articles are getting 1,300, 2,000, 3,000 searches per month, the traffic coming to your website will start adding up really quickly. And this was the exact method that I used with my product review website slash blog, The Investor Post. I was going up against massive finance websites like NerdWallet and Bankrate, and I was able to outrank them for certain searches. Now, there are two different ways to find these less popular searches, and both ways are completely free. The first way is by simply going to Google, typing in a popular uh, search, such as best coffee maker, and what will happen is Google will start to recommend other searches related to that main search. And so, as you can see, uh, best coffee maker with grinder, right? Best coffee maker under $100, best coffee maker with frother. And these are all searches that I guarantee you a smaller website would be able to rank for. And then another trick you can do is when you actually search one of these and then scroll down to the bottom of the page, Google will recommend even more related searches. And so instead of just writing about the best coffee maker under $100, you could get even more specific and say the best single cup coffee maker under $100 or the best thermal carafe coffee maker under $100 or the best coffee maker under $150. And these are all things that real people are searching, otherwise Google wouldn't be suggesting them. Something else you could do is just go to a competitor website. So let's just say, for example, that you're starting a Google to purchase website about a home and kitchen. Well, I know that the wire cutter has an entire section of product reviews on their website around this category. And so I can simply look at all the different products they're reviewing. Let's just use toasters as an example. And I can almost promise you that if we search best toasters into Google, the wire cutter, which was acquired by the New York Times, will show up at the very top. And when I search for it, they are indeed the top search. But let's use our proven method to find less popular searches that we could rank for around toasters. And so I'll type in best toaster into Google and Google will give us different ideas. And so for example, let's take a look at best toaster for bagels. Now, something very interesting is happening when we search this. You see, nobody has actually written an article about the best toasters for bagels, not a single person. And so because there's no articles for that search, Google's gonna try to find the best search alternative for that specific search. And in this case, it happens to be this article by the New York Times, which is just the best toasters. But if you were to write an article about the best toasters for bagels, I guarantee you, you would show up at the top even before the New York Times. And I know this because this is simply how Google search works. Now, another tool that you'll wanna download, which is also completely free, is this browser add-on called Keyword Surfer. And basically what this does is shows you how much traffic a specific search is getting on a month
monthly basis. It'll also suggest other search ideas for you based on a specific keyword. Now, when it comes to actually making money with your Google to middleman website, it's all about affiliate links. You see, on a site like Wirecutter or any product review website, every single one of these buttons are an affiliate link. When somebody clicks on one of these buttons and then proceeds to buy something, the wire cutter receives a commission. And you would set this up by signing up for various affiliate programs. For example, if you plan on selling home and kitchen stuff, you could sign up for Amazon's affiliate program, Walmart, even Target. And then just like the wire cutter on your site, all of your links and buttons that led to products would be affiliate links that you would make money on every single time somebody clicked and bought a product. Now, so far we've gone over all of the most important information in this video. And the very last thing that we have to talk about is how to actually write these product review articles. Now, for the sake of time, this video is already getting pretty long. And so what I'm going to do is leave a link down below to a video that talks in great detail about how to structure these product review listicle style articles to make as much as $207,000 per month. Hey, you're amazing. And I appreciate you so, so much for being here. I'm watching you. I believe in you. And as always, I'll see you again very soon. Take care.